had their lives completely upended by the disaster known as Obamacare. President Trump's tri-state visit started with comments about health care, and he brought out a family from Ohio and one from Kentucky as examples of what he says are failures from the Affordable Care Act. Ray and Dan are just two of the many victims of the Obamacare catastrophe created by congressional Democrats. Across America, premiums are skyrocketing, insurers are fleeing, and the American people are paying much more for much worse coverage. Some serious words there for the Affordable Care Act, but what about the alternative for folks? Uh, Kristen Hartman's been checking into that. What'd you find out? Well, it's possible replacement, Craig, isn't getting rave reviews in certain circles either. One reason for this ad, it says, stop playing politics with kids' health care. We made it our healthy living mission today to learn what the worry is all about. Our lesson begins with a family. <laughs> Taking care of Grayson is something his mom, Carol Combs, does with all her heart. And in his world of serious medical care, that takes money. Our own insurance plan covers very little um, for the complex needs that Grayson has. Enter Medicaid. It's paid for life-sustaining monitors for Grayson. It inflates and then it shakes. And it's covered this vest that helps him breathe. The nine-year-old, who's on the level of a five-month-old, also gets home nurse care through the program. Without a trained caregiver, um, one of us would have to be with him 24-7, so we wouldn't be able to go to work, we wouldn't be able to go to school. Or have as much time for their other children. We live day to day hoping that today is not our child's last day, and we go to bed at night hoping that we make it through the night. Um, those fears are magnified by the uncertainty and the Medicaid program. With calls for the repeal of Obamacare and under the proposed American Health Care Act, Medicaid could face roughly $880 billion in cuts. Critics fear that will hurt kids who relied on Medicaid long before Obamacare allowed for the expansion of the entitlement to childless adults. So a blanket cut to Medicaid that is affecting now adults and children is certainly unfair to those children who have been receiving their care through Medicaid all along. These are kids that are on your child's soccer team, their gymnastics squad. Uh, these are families that um, you interact with every day. They are half of Cincinnati children's patient load. Ready? Let's fix it. And they're people like Grayson. Carol worries her son could lose some of the services that run into the thousands of dollars that protect his quality of life and make it possible for him to live with his family instead of in a facility. As Grayson's mom, why is it so important that he be able to stay home, that he get the care right within the home? Because that's where he belongs. Hmm.